Good morning, everybody. Mark in the home weather office on this Tuesday. It's March the 14th, 2023. And as I look out the window of the home office, it's raining. It's probably raining where you are too, as at least as I record this. Not too windy here, although down on the valley floor, the winds are gusting up to around 30, and the wind is probably going to be one of the biggest issues we have today, at least for a relatively short window. It's been looking as though the rain amounts are going to be lower than what we were forecasting yesterday, and that will minimize problems on area streams and creeks and that sort of thing. However, we are still going to have to keep an eye on things like the Cosumnes River, which is still forecast to go above flood stage during the day tomorrow. So let's get right to it and show you what's happening. This is, again, as I record this around 830 in the morning, this is how radar looks. But something to point out here is that notice there is a, there is a back edge to this. And it's that back edge that's going to bring a pretty abrupt rain end to the rain uh, by the time we get into the afternoon. So the morning hours um, are going to be the, the wettest of it. However, there is going to be a little bit of a delay in the strongest wind. So let me show you what's going on here. So here on the satellite, you can also see that back edge that I was talking about right back in here. So here's our plume of moisture, classic low beginning to wrap up. In the last couple of images here, you may be able to see that low just starting to wrap up right there. So with that in mind, let's show you what's going to happen with the wind as that low moves inland. I'm, I'm showing you the HRRR here and what these are are wind gusts. And this is 11 o'clock in the morning. This might be the windiest part of the day, the mid-morning through the early afternoon. And as I scroll over this from the Stockton area, through Roseville and uh, the Sacramento area, seeing winds gust 45 to 50 miles an hour. This is similar to what we had last week, and we could see some scattered power outages. and Just a nasty day to drive on, let's say, I-80, Highway 50, Jackson Highway, any of those areas that go across the valley, and that wind is coming uh, at you from the side. And that wind extends all the way up to Highway 65 toward the Marysville and Wheatland area. And again, this is 11 o'clock in the morning, a couple of hours later, uh, this is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The wind in the valley is still breezy, but you're losing those gusts. So now you're seeing gusts of 35 to 40. The high Sierra seeing much stronger gusts. And then into the evening hours, this is 5 o'clock. The wind in the valley is done. It's still windy in the Sierra. So we do have a relatively short window of having some strong winds. And it's all because of this low. And this is the, the rain this morning, and here's the low. And watch as the low moves inland. You can just see that, that pressure gradient tightening up in the valley, and it's that classic southeasterly wind, the flow the, going toward the low. And so as that low moves inland and you see more of these isobars, you see everything tighten up. You can also notice that the snow level is pretty high. It's pretty interesting this morning. There is snow on the west slope. It's snowing in Blue Canyon, as again, as I record this, at 34 degrees. Blue Canyon is around 5,200 feet. But in Truckee and Tahoe, there hasn't been enough mixing. Well, there's a, too much mixing actually going on, and you have uh, rain. So it's actually warmer at the higher elevations on the east side of the Sierra. And the snow amounts today are just going to be a mess. But still, if you're planning on going up over the Sierra, it is snowing on, on the crest of Interstate 80. And you're, uh, we have chain controls and that sort of thing. Right now, 50 looks good. Let's get into the afternoon because this is... This is 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and the rain is done for the valley, at least this widespread steady rain. So picking up the kids from school, that sort of thing, it'll still be windy, but it won't be as wet. Uh, for those of you in the foothills, it'll still be raining. Then we get into tonight. I'll go to 8 o'clock this evening. At 8 o'clock this evening, the valley is dry. It's still raining on the west slope. There'll be some snow above 6,500 feet. And then during the night, it all goes away. Let me show you another version of just what's happening here and how much rain we're going to see. This is off the NAM. And again, these rainfall totals are lower than what we were thinking yesterday. So for the valley, probably three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch at the most. And again, that's going to minimize the amount of problems we may see on things like Dry Creek, Arcade Creek. Uh, Deer Creek, the one that goes over Scott Road, is already going over Scott Road. Now it'll continue through the day. So there is a lot of water coming down out of El Dorado and Amador County, and that's feeding into the Cosumnes. And that's why we'll probably see uh, a higher level on the Cosumnes. We'll have to keep an eye on that for the day tomorrow as we get a crest on that river and it goes down through Wilton. But otherwise, it looks like the area streams and creeks are going to be able to handle this pretty well because, again, the rain amounts, for the most part, I think, in the valley are going to come in under an inch, which is pretty good. So I want to show you uh, something else that's kind of fun. I'll title this, What's Going to Make the Lead on Nightly News Tonight? 
Um, since I grew up in New Hampshire, uh, this is uh, this is what I, I I love to see. This I mean, it's just a classic setup. It's a nor'easter, uh, so this is uh, this is how the the Nam shows it. Classic uh, low off the coast. A typical forecaster's nightmare with a rain snow line, and just watch as this thing. I mean, look at that tight low here. You have classic northeasterly winds, snow. You get rain down on the Cape. You get rain maybe along the immediate coast. But yeah, just a classic nor'easter, and, and because it's affecting the East Coast, this will make the lead on nightly news, and uh, California won't. And then all of that moves out. And let me show you just how much um, snow they're expecting. And, and as I said, it's a forecaster's nightmare. Down here on Cape Cod, you don't get anything, but you go up into areas north of uh, Worcester, Mass, and you get more than a foot, and on up toward Concord, New Hampshire, you get about 8 to 12. So yeah, a forecaster's uh, nightmare uh, back there in terms of trying to figure out the... Uh, the rain and snow. But for us, all rain, although we are going to get some snow in the Sierra, the snow levels are going to be pretty high. But if you are planning on heading that way, I do suggest you bring chains and uh, expect some slow travel. But we're certainly not seeing any snow down at 5,000 feet or lower. And I don't expect that's going to change during the day today. So that's all I've got for you today. I'll be on the news uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 11. And I'll be on Facebook Live tonight at 8 o'clock and we'll see what's going on. And again, the worst of what we're going to see today is likely the winds from mid-morning through early afternoon. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later.